Choosing the proper pump is an extremely important decision. If you choose a pump that's too big for your pond or bigger than necessary, you're going to end up spending a lot of electricity over the life of the pond to run this pump. But on the other hand, if you choose a pump that's too small, you're not going to get the effect that you want over the waterfall, uh, the pond won't run efficiently, the water may not stay clear. So choosing the right pump is very important. You want to consider first, you want to have a quiet pump. It, the whole ambiance around a koi pond is different than a swimming pool. In a swimming pool, if you have a noisy pond, people don't notice it. In a koi pond, you're sitting back relaxing and you want to listen to the waterfall, so it's got to be a quiet pump. Additionally, you want to make sure that it's, it's a reliable pump. You know, if a swimming pool pump goes out, you've got a week, two weeks to fix it. In a koi pond, when, if a pump goes out, you've got to replace that within the next six to eight hours, especially in the summertime, or you could have problems. Putting a swimming pool pump on, for instance, they're less expensive than some high efficiency pumps, but they're not designed to run 24 hours a day. Oftentimes, they won't last that long. Secondly, if you use a swimming pool pump on a koi pond, sometimes you'll void your warranty because, again, they're not designed to run 24 hours a day. Selecting a high efficiency pump is a real bargain. Paying an extra $100, maybe even $200 more up front for a high efficiency pump is still a good value compared to what you'll spend over the years with an inefficient pump. To select the right pump, you need to do two things. You need to first calculate the flow that you're going to be required for this pond. And then second, you have to calculate how much head pressure is created by this system. Selecting the flow is important. You need to turn all the water in your pond over a minimum of once every three hours to, to guarantee clear, healthy water. If you can turn over less than that, that's wonderful, but it's minimum of one third. Now, some people would like to have you turn it over once an hour, and that would be wonderful, but it gets a little impractical on larger ponds. For instance, a 10,000 gallon pond if you want to turn all that water through your filter once an hour, you would have to have a pump that would produce approximately 167 gallons a minute to flow to turn that over once an hour. That's going to be a very expensive pump to run. On the other hand, if you turn it over once every three hours, that number drops down to about 55 gallons a minute, which you could do with a very high efficiency pump. So you have to choose somewhere what's efficient for your pond as to how efficient you can turn that water over. But again, as a bare minimum, it has to be once every three hours. So keep that inside, in, in mind when you build a big pond. Secondly, you need to calculate the head pressure in the system. The head pressure is basically how much pressure it takes to push water through the filter, through the UV light, through the plumbing, through the jets, over the waterfall. That's all a part of your head pressure. So when you calculate how much head pressure you required, and you couple that with your volume, then you can select the right pump. For instance, say you needed to brew 60 gallons a minute, and you calculated with your head pressure that you had maybe 15 feet of head pressure. Then what you do is you get yourself a flow chart for a pump, and you look at it, and you go across and say, okay, at 15 feet of head pressure, I need to have 60 gallons a minute, and that would show you if this pump would do it. So it, you can size up the size pump if you know those factors. Now, uh, granted, a lot of our customers get very discouraged trying to calculate the head pressure and the flow. And so in an effort to make it easier, we've designed with the plug and play system we produce, we've taken the system, we put the filter, pump, UV light all together, pre-plumbed it, run them, and tested not only what flow you're gonna get with several different pumps, but also what the electrical use would be. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. If you know how much water you'd like to turn over, by looking at the special chart we have on our website, you can decide exactly what a plug and play system on that side would produce for you.